time for a box opening. This is a package I got from Stitch Shifter, better known as my buddy Jakey Will Clown. And I already know what it is, but it's a surprise to some of you. Genuine stitch shifter products and closed. Please handle with care. This is actually my old phone. I even sent back the old parts. How's that? Oh my gosh, what did we get here? A baby rubber chicken. That's Jakey Will Clown style. What do we have here? Some Stitch Shifter memorabilia. Uh, a lot of this is from old times. Oh, here we get his new logo. We'll have to put this up in a special place. We're going to make this into a sign. Stitch Shifter designs. Boat tops, upholstery, custom sewing, flags, banners, tack, awnings, umbrellas, repairs and fabrication. American made. There it is. I'm putting that up on the special place there. Let's see if there's anything else here. Uh, I'll go over these later. But that's a sample of them. I put my rubber chicken up to the side here. And we got the business card. Okay. Let's get back to the whole reason for the box. Here another thing. It's frustrating when you know all the answers but nobody bothers to ask you the questions. Key Largo. And this is probably, I bet you he was probably drinking this beer. Stolen from Jake Evil Clown. Let's see what kind of beer it is. Ice House. There you go. An Ice House beer in a cozy. You never know what kind of surprises Jake Evil Clown will send you. But I do know what this is. It even comes with a carrying sack. A skull and crossbones carrying sack. Can you imagine that? Look at there. Skull and crossbones. Now, why you would need a carrying sack for this, I have no idea, but it's still rather cool. But here is finally what he did. If I can get it open here. This is rather tight fit. Put the fringe on it. You know what? I'm going to leave that on there. He put this fringe on as a joke, but I think I'm going to leave it on and see how it works. But anyway, let me get the packing material off of it. Got the little peanut foam ground into it, but you can kind of get an idea and see here. This is custom made out of some vinyl he picked up. And I'll clean it off later. It's got from the packing and stuff, it's got some uh, white foam and ground on it. But if you see it, it's very similar to the stock seat, only this is done with stitching. And he uh, got rid of the piping so that it's actually more smooth here, which I actually like. So what we're going to do is we're going to install it on the bike. And then I'm going to compare how it looks to the stock seat. So I'm going to finish cleaning it off and then I'm going to turn the camera around. So we're going to see it installed on the bike.
Okay, here is the stock seat. And the stock seat, this isn't sh uh, stitching. This is uh, just molded into the vinyl itself, and then it's got this piping material, which actually is going to be missing from the new seat. So this one's going, and the new one's going on. I'm actually going to save the old one and use it for winter time for the Polar Bear Challenge. I'm going to see if I can put this on without messing up the, uh, I might or I might not be able to do this with the, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I may have to end up taking it off. And I don't think I can. There's just no way I can get it out from under here, so. Sorry, Jake. This is going to have to come off. Oh, he just had it lightly glued on here anyway, so. I thought maybe I could keep it on. So anyway, that goes. And okay, let's get this lined up. Looks pretty good, I'd say. Much nicer than the stock one. Way better padding, too. So, Thanks a lot, Jake Evil Clown, also known as Stitch Shifter, for a great job on the custom upholstery. And let him know if you guys need any custom upholstery like that, too.